wait for the Food and Drug Administration's emergency use approval for the Pfizer vaccine today. Logistical obstacles still remain, especially when it comes to distributing the medicine to rural areas of the country. So we're asking if the FDA should require rural distribution as part of its emergency use authorization. You can vote now at 12news.com slash bullhorn. Well, we're asking because a major health system in South Dakota says getting the vaccine in each state is one thing, but getting it to people is another challenge altogether. What is the most difficult part about administering and distributing a vaccine in a rural setting versus a city setting? The geography itself, just the miles that separate us, making sure the resources can reach all of those areas. I think worrying about when you're going to give a vaccine within, you know, six days of taking it out of the freezer and within six hours of reconstituting it is really something we hadn't, I don't think anybody has done before. Yeah, so you heard the health officials talk about freezer temperatures. That is a big issue. The Pfizer vaccine can only survive for up to five days at negative 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Moderna's vaccine, which could get emergency use authorization tomorrow, is a little more manageable at only negative four degrees Fahrenheit. The challenges that they're dealing with in South Dakota could also apply to parts of Arizona, specifically near the Navajo Nation. Each state gets its own allocation of the vaccine, but health providers can only take supplies across state lines, not the vaccine itself. In South Dakota, they're transporting just enough vaccines to remote locations to get people what they need, but not leaving anything wasted in clinics or locations that just can't store it properly. Here in Arizona, we could see the same supply chain issue. So should rural distribution be part of the vaccine approval? You can vote now at 12news.com slash bullhorn.